But yeah, so that's how I, I played that. And then, uh, oh yeah, welcome back to Shinshap Chats. Welcome back, baby. Uh, I, I was playing Bandalores, and then I just bought a new game for Anne and I to play. It's called uh, Ale and Tail. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a four player, up to four player. Um, you. <clears throat> I don't understand what that means. It only works with the corresponding sphere type. Do you have different spheres? Yeah, I've only got the two. But like what I uh, what I'm failing to understand because maybe I wasn't paying attention was that uh, I have to obviously make them turn here, but I don't know how to make them turn. What did the red do? The red's a lift. The left ain't gonna do shit. No. The la red's obviously gotta be right there. Um, yeah. So that's why I'm like confused by this. So I can, there's a generator, I guess, and I can use it on the generator, but it says generators only work with the corresponding sphere type, and I'm not Maybe really sure. Maybe you have to use the yellow on it first? Yeah, I've got to use the yellow. It changes uh, the direction of some of these arrows, but not the one. So I don't really understand what the fuck to do. And I think I'm just stupid. Because <laughs> this clearly isn't that hard of a puzzle, but I'm missing something here. <laughs> we were distracted. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what he says here. I'm sorry, was that mansion making? No. Yes, it's an electric sphere. Why is this turned? See, I got an electric sphere. So now put the red over there. But how can you get the red over there to make it jump? Well, that's what happened. Is this button? So does this change the way in which it, it is oriented? Okay, so how do I change that back? How do I change that back to that? That doesn't make any sense to me, Billy. Spinach. Okay. Well, let me do that. Energy into yes. So how do I deactivate that button then? <laughs> Can't go back over to the button. Anymore? No. Maybe power on that. Then I just put the. Then they're flying into yeah, nothing. Flying. Oh, oh, it was. Yeah. So you stepped on it. And oh, because they kept because they kept stepping on it. I see. Okay, so now that we know, um, right. I'll continue. Uh, Ale and Tail, it's a four-player uh, tavern game, basically, that you open up a tavern, you can build it out how you want, you can, um, you know, decorate it how you wish. Is it like Overcooked? Uh, I've never played Overcooked, so maybe. Melissa wants us to play Overcooked. You, uh, you slowly but surely... As you level up your tavern, it opens up new spaces into it. It makes it bigger. You get more people. And then the thing that makes this different than a lot of those kind of uh, builder games is that uh, there's actually, like, orcs and zombies and stuff that will come and attack you oh, yeah. sometimes at night. And there's, like, quests and stuff outside, and there's uh, bosses and... All that kind of stuff. So it's it's a little bit... We just started getting into it, so... Yeah, it's a little bit more involved, though. Yeah. But it's interesting. And that's uh, that's basically what I've been playing, is... Jumping between, like, those three... Every once in a while, I'll still play, like, uh, Timberborn. Wow. Because I love me a good old... Uh, beaver building game. <laughs> Is this a perma button or do I? No. Okay. So you gotta stay on it. Okay. When you need it. Ow. What was that? Yeah, something, something in my hair. Something just jumped up a bit. Oh my fucking god, I'm gonna die. It's a poison scorpion. Yeah, Melissa wants us to play Overcooked because it's like a, it's a game. I'm trying to think of what to compare it to, but it's like, it's. 
it's meant to, I think, be a two-player game, mm -hmm. but you can play it single-player. It's just probably a lot harder. Um, because you control, you're supposed to control two cooks in a kitchen, and then you're just tasked with like making food for like you know like the orders come in, and then you gotta make them. Okay. And uh, if you have two people playing, then you know each Obviously one yeah. works independently. Yeah. yeah. Whereas, and if you play a single player, you have to. Uh, you have to control everyone. Well, no, you control. You can only control one cook at a time, <laughs> which makes it oh, even like harder. Okay. Lost Viking style. Mm, yeah. Yep. So it's like, um, yeah, like you see, like the game will just kind of prompt you with like what you need to do first. So you need to chop the onions first, and then you can put it on the plate, and then you can cook the beef and put it on, you know, whatever. Cook so the it's man like, some fucking bitch. cook the man some fucking bitch. Okay. <laughs> Clearly, you have to make them jump over the, the right. pan. Right, right, That's absolutely correct. You are right. Oh, did you hear that uh, Journey to a Savage Planet 2 is coming out? Yes, I actually just beat that recently, too. I tried. Uh, I tried to play it with Anne, but she's not good at platformers. No? No. Yeah, I tried um, to... Um, I tried to basically 100% that game, and I got pretty close, but <coughs> after I finished it, I'm like, alright, I'm never going to play this game ever again. Yep. But it's good, yeah, actually, for some reason, that was one on my backlog, and I decided to go back to that, and I'm like, yeah, I finished it, and it's like, yeah, it's fun, it's cool. It's fun and cool. It's fun for so fucking, fucking. Oh, now I know. Does so the electrical you, one maybe let, let them go through or not? You want to pull your red off now. Yeah. And then have your red... Oh, they can run through. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah, I got gotcha. you. I see where we're at here. So we're going to do the... Where's the left one at? I need the left one. Give me that. So heavy sphere. And a lift sphere right, right there. there. And then that'll be the electrical one over there. And that's how you make... I like how they give you the option to just skip the fucking puzzles, but I don't want to. These ones are okay. I don't like the the stupid shooter hacker one. That one's dumb. Hacker shooter man. It's not. I mean, it's not dumb. It's just less interesting. I think. I think it's dumb. Mmm. 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 Mm. Those are good. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know what you did, but you did it. That's a giant, like, sea scorpion. Mm. What's up, bro? <coughs> Give me that pussy. So, yeah, that's been my life, basically, with games wise. Hell yeah. Um. I know Ark just came out with a uh, fucking aberration again for the uh, <clears throat> Unreal 5. But every single time we've played Ark, it has been constantly having terrible uh, crashes. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to try and change my hard drive out because I think uh, the, the hard drive that I have it on is my oldest hard drive. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure it's dying. I'm hoping that's what the cause is, and it's not art being shit. Yeah. Has anybody else been reporting issues with it or not? Yeah, some people do get it too, but yeah. not like how much I'm having it. And Anne's never had it. Gotcha. <clears throat> so I'm hoping that it's just my hard drive, which I already got a new one. I just need to go and replace it. Western Digital. Mm-hmm. Actually, this time I got a... I got Samsung. I got a Coochie Toucher uh, 69. Uh, Samsung 4 terabyte um, SSD. You know, you know what's um, what's funny. So I, what I've done is I, because I did like don't like having to re-download games, and I obviously have enough other shit on my computer, <laughs> much like I'm sure most people do. I bought a Western Digital um, 
external drive to install all my games on, which is probably not the best because it's it does yeah it causes it's slower extra loading yeah it's slower but like it's it works fine for me I really don't care, um, but um, I I feel like I don't remember how big it is I think it's also four terabytes but maybe not I I can't remember it might be smaller maybe it's only two I don't know but it's like. <laughs> With the amount of games I've installed on it, like I've or, I've already got only like 300 gigs left on it. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I I have a shit ton of games because like I have four hard drives in my computer. Yeah. One of them is just my OS. I have a hard disk, which is the one that's dying. I have an SSD, which is only like <laughs> I've never gotten an SSD simply because of how expensive they are. <laughs> Only, it's only 500 gigabytes, so it's not huge. Yeah, and that's the thing with them is like if you want a bigger one, like it's really expensive. Yeah. The four terabyte cost me 150 bucks, so it's not that bad anymore. But yeah, and then uh, and then I have an NVMe drive, which is only like 250 gigs, and. Uh, you know, my Some, oldest one is dying, so I'm going to go... Sometimes you got to, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, I tuned out what you just said for the past five minutes, because now I'm flying a dragon. Yay, dragon. I'm joking. Here's this one. But yeah. So, that's what I got to do. Uh, probably actually going to do that tonight or tomorrow. I'm going to go hang out with uh, Kyle... We're gonna we're gonna watch the parade tomorrow, since he lives off of uh, Ridge. So he's he's right there basically. So I'm gonna go see him and his wife Melissa. Cat. And then did you, get, uh, did, you get, did you get your seats? Well, I'm just I'm gonna take my bike over, and then they have their seats. I'm just gonna probably sit on the ground. Hang out with them for a little bit. Go to uh, go back to Famous Dave's. <laughs> yeah, go back to Famous Dave's and come back up. Uh, go get myself an elephant ear, probably. Um, <clears throat> and then my boss is probably actually going to be there. I know he said he was going to be there today to go see the demolition derby, but I have no interest in demolition derby, so I'm not going to go do Gelatonium. that. Unobtainium. Where, where are the bombs? Where, where did you say out of there? All the giant gold me fuck me things? Yeah. Well, I, gotta flip the, I gotta get the bombs and I'll toss them at their shields. Toss it. Toss it. Fucking toss it. Do it right now. Right now. Toss it. I gotta get closer. God damn it. No, I did. You know a movie Melissa and I just watched? That did not hold up at all. Wet Hot American Summer? Arguably didn't hold, like wasn't good to begin with. Wet Hot American Summer? No. No, that's a great movie. We watched uh, Mars Attacks. Ah, yes. That because of the, the new... <laughs> they just came out with a game for Mars Attacks. Too. Did they really? Oh, yeah, okay. it's... <laughs> it's, um... Now, we watched the uh, movie, and it sucks. It's not yeah, a it's good not great. movie. It's not, not great. Not a good movie. Uh, it's called Mars Attracts. I believe it's a. It it kind of looks like it's a park builder, <laughs> like Oy. like an amusement park, you know, roller well, coaster. That would, that would explain the name. But you know, it's uh, I I don't know, you know exactly what it is. No, the movie was uh, does not hold up. What other movie did we watch? Oh, we watched Con Air. Now that's a movie that holds up. Ah uh, yeah, <laughs> Con Air is fucking dope. <laughs> Got Steve Buscemi. Con in Air is fucking sick. That's yeah, a great movie. Fucking, uh, I like after we rewatched it too. Um, <clears throat> there's one thing like about it, like I never, never really realized like how unwilling Nicolas Cage is to be the hero in that movie. Yeah, he's very <laughs> like, unwilling. He just doesn't like. He's only in it for, really for himself, and then only when shit gets too crazy, which is great, which is a lot. Like he, shit goes like, pretty he, far before he really gets yeah. involved. It's when it's when they fucking. Uh, it's when they touch the the rabbit that they bought, that they he bought for his daughter. Yeah, that's when they have. A <laughs> that's problem. when it pushes it too far. Yeah, it's got fucking Cyrus the virus, John Malkovich. <laughs> yes. 
That's so like such a perfect name for him too, Cyrus the Virus. That's perfect. Like that Cyrus movie. The virus. That movie is dope. I love that movie. It's great. What was the movie Nicolas Cage was just recently in? Uh, Wally World. It was something after that. <laughs> I would like to see Wally World at some point. Or sorry, it's not Wally World. It's Wally it's World's... Like, uh, it's something like that. Yeah, it's... um, It's really close to that. Anyway. Nicolas Cage. He's such an interesting man. I've heard rumors that they're making a all-female remake of Fight Club. And guess who won't be watching it? <laughs> I won't be. I won't be watching it either. I'm, I'm absolutely tired of D.I.E. The one thing, like, otherwise, though, too, though, but that aside, um, I'm getting tired of it as well, but, like, with that aside, if they're just going to remake a movie, it just makes me want to watch the original. Yeah. Like, why would I watch the remake with all this, like, shit that like, isn't in it from the original that I like? I heard the new Alien was pretty good. Yeah, I haven't seen it. Me either. Yeah, I, I'd like to check that out. Because I do like me the Alien series, but I haven't seen them all. <gasps> this is her backstory! <gasps> And that's how I got I wasn't dead. horny enough. The, the robot wasn't horny enough to let me go. Didn't know that I was available. Mm. Oh my god! It was her! The warbot was her! They didn't make me play through that part, so that way they could have that little bit of exposition. Oh, I saw that popping. Do I have to get more fucking Zerp stones? Are you shitting my asshole? Ooh. I don't think I'm going to do that right now. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm I like I'm sick of fucking remakes. I'm sick of fucking bad adaptations of shit. Yeah. Like Obviously, like, that Borderlands movie came out and flopped oh, yeah, so gonna, fucking hard. I was gonna say, what did you think? Did I you see about the Borderlands? It's so miscast, all of it. Yeah. Like, like it's star-studded, but not, like, a good... No. A good... Like, <laughs> not even a little bit. No. Like, Jamie Lee Curtis is in it, and I'm like, it just doesn't feel right. No, none of it feels right. Well, I'm not even a big fan of the original game. No, like I'm to not. be honest no, with I'm you, I'm not a huge Borderlands. Like fan. I'm not a big Borderlands fan. Like I really don't think the games are that fucking good. I played the first one, and then I played I think one this, or two other one ones with you. Yeah, and I just thought they were absolutely okay. I, well, I I think <clears> inherently <throat> too, I'm not really a big looter shooter shooter fan. Like I'm just not into that stuff. I, I'd love looter shooters and all. I well, actually, I'm more of a Diablo fan, so it's more of a ARPG. Yeah, I but don't, I don't. I'm not into looter shooters. I think they just aren't for me. Um, and what are these other things on the map? What are these? Trudy. Oh, the Trudy Perch. Okay. So it says help Trudy. What do I need to do? Optional. Oh, yeah, it says optional. What do Optionally I do? Optionally help Trudy. What the fuck do I do? It looks like you're missing one circle thing at the bottom. Yeah, that's an armor piece. That's oh, probably okay. what you get from doing this. Uh, well, I don't know what it means to to help Trudy. I don't see any fucking Zerp stones. So, so see you, Trudy. <sighs> Technically, I'm going to take you, and then I'm going to leave you. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to leave. Let's do the pirate level. Fuck it. Everybody's waiting. For the pirate level. Where's, where's my ship at? They've been here. They've been here? clamoring. Yeah, there's. At the. I've been reading the comments, man. For three months. They've been. They've been. Where's the pirate? Fucking episode? ravenous down in that comment section. Meanwhile, zero where, zero comments. Yeah, zero comments. <laughs> where's the pirate episode? Where is the pirate level? <laughs> well, fan, uh, 
whoever comments on this video, uh, we're doing it right now. <laughs> it's just me. <laughs> just me. Yeah, you just type, where the fuck is the pirate episode? <laughs> You were there. You know it's the next episode. We're doing it right now. How come we don't have? To, how come she has to fly away in order for us to play as Ratchet? That takes a pretty sick. It's like a half planet. That's pretty cool. That would not work. No, it wouldn't. But you know what? I don't think gravity would work. Most of this isn't. Are there more of those things now? I fear that I like without a core, you wouldn't have gravity. But whatever. Yeah. It's, it's space. Space is crazy. Somehow, yeah. But, like, I know, like, a lot of people have been pissing and moaning now about that the new Minecraft movie, like, the trailer that came out. Oh, yeah. To me, when I saw it, I... I haven't I, even seen it yet. It looks... Picture in your mind what a Hollywood Minecraft movie would look like. That's exactly what it fucking looks like. I kind of picture, like, what they did with Mario, but then... But it's live scared. action. But it's live action, then, yeah. too. And the weird thing is, like it did, it, it like after seeing it, it does. I know seem, I've seen Jack Black in it because of yeah. course Jack Black is in everything, right? Like, yep, yeah, yeah. And and the, and the thing of it is, like I think what a lot of people's complaints are with it too, and I can kind of agree in this particular aspect is that the the costume design for Jack Black is so fucking lazy, it's insane. Like they literally just put a blue shirt on him and that's it. Like, he doesn't trim up his facial hair or cut his hair or style it differently. So he just Nothing. looks like what he does on he YouTube. He just looks like he normally does shirt. with a blue shirt. It's it's okay. like, like why why are you guys so lazy? Like, does, like it's because it's one of those movies that you can tell that, like, everybody involved, like, nobody's passionate about it or anything. Like, it's just... <laughs> They're just you like... Know, it's a huge IP, and we gotta make a game for Yeah, it. it's a huge IP. We gotta a make a game movie, or yeah. a movie, and it's like, yeah, it's... Not good. It doesn't... I mean, I'm not interested in it to begin with anyway, but like... Ooh, Praetorian. Ooh. What does this give me? 10% raritanium earned. Yeah, but the fucking color doesn't match. Yeah, and like, I can't see his face anymore. Oh, no, hold on. I can make the color match. Let's see. That's, that's pretty good. Let's just do this one. Yeah, that, that matches enough for me. Fuck it. You won't even notice because you're never <laughs> looking at his front. Nope. Nope. <clears throat> Surprise! Ooh. It's a sniper. I do want that. You guys are giving me too many weapons. I can't. I can't keep up. Well, I'm just saving. I just want the other ones because I do feel like I want to level up the ones I got. Yeah. And I want some of the more expensive ones because they're fucking cool. Here, have a fungi. Oh, shit. So, yeah, I don't know. I I mean, I haven't even really been interested in any movies anyway, but, like... No. Um, I think, I think like, just, I don't know. I'm wondering, too, like, if, like, the general populace is just getting really tired of the whole, like... Everything. ...machine of, like, yeah, like, yeah. pop culture and media. I think uh, there is a lot. A lot more people are, like, trying to break away and make a house in the, in the woods... Kind of uh, situation. Oh, but it's just also like it's all literally the same shit regurgitated, and then Hollywood wonders like, why are people seeing the dumb shit that we make? Yeah, why are we spending two hundred million dollars on Concord? On Concord. <laughs> but I mean, and it, then only thirteen thousand people bought it, but and not even all of them played but it. But that's the thing; it's true in the gaming sphere as well. Like it's yeah. both. It's both in like Hollywood and in the gaming industry. Like the, the entertainment shit. industry right now. Yeah. I think it's because we're going into a recession. Well, we've been in going into a recession. We're we're just finally really feeling it. And the writers have been on strike yep. for so fucking long. So I'm pretty sure that's what it is, is that people are not spending money because everyone's starting to see and feel that, you know, prices are way too high on everything yep. when you buy. Gas is too expensive. Yep cost of living has gone way up yep. so we don't have the money to spend on all this entertainment that is just uh, if anything subpar to absolute shit yeah uh -huh. so yeah you know, you're right i think we've been if we've been in the recession for about a, a year now mm -hmm. we just uh we have been 
the populace has been spending so much money lately that it doesn't feel like it is a recession. Yeah. But with how everything's been with pricing and all that, and then the housing market's finally starting to crash, yeah, that you can right. just tell that. Yeah. It's finally, it's finally happening. We're probably going to have a huh. recession for the next like four years, and then it'll hopefully get better. Yeah. Well, also. It'd be nice if we didn't get any more fucking remakes and reboots, and... I think, like, I hate to get into this topic, and I don't want to get too far into it, because people have strong feelings about it, but I, I get really tired... Well, I get really tired of, like, uh, a lot of things, putting the DEI shit ahead of actually writing, like, a good story, or, yeah. like, making a good game. It's like, nobody cares about the message. <laughs> Yeah, if like we're, we're not buying this stuff for the message. We're buying it to be enter entertained. Like that's it. Yeah, that's you can literally put a, that simple. You can put a message in your thing. Oh yeah, totally. But you have to make it so people actually want to play it. Yeah, you've got to make it. Or else your message is useless. Yeah, I mean, like nobody's gonna glean the message if the game ain't good or the movie's not good. You know, like make a good movie or a game first, and then if you have some sort of thing to say or like point then, or moral, yeah, then go you know, for it. Say it, but don't. Yeah, don't but, make it. But like, don't make like the movie the vehicle for that part. You yeah, know what I that's mean? the thing. A lot of movies and games have really felt like just propaganda. I know. Rather than like an, a game that has an influence on that, like it yeah. used to be. And I I hate to to say it too, but like sometimes when I see like certain certain things coming out like that, I just fucking tune out. I'm like, yeah. I roll my eyes. I roll my I eyes and I tune out. About it. Yeah, exactly. Which sucks to say, but it's the fucking truth. Because it's yeah. like it's beginning, it's beginning to become a trope that everything has got a black female lead in it, and then also a trope that they're gay. It's yeah. like, <laughs> it's like. I mean, have you seen that South Park episode? No, I haven't. <laughs> the the whole fucking cut line, uh, the the line that Cartman keeps saying is, "Put a woman in it and make her gay." Yeah. Just constantly being Kathleen Kennedy. Yeah. <laughs> But it's like it, it unfortunately has kind of become its own fucking trope at this point because like, yeah, they it is. like everybody does it now and it's like all right like I think there's another Sony um, I think it's a Sony another Sony live service game coming out uh, fair games or something like that yeah and like that's the same thing they got a black female lead character and it's like all right and you know what I think I got nothing against black female lead characters no, but just make no. it like like make that the you know I don't know it just it, to me it always comes across as pandering yeah yeah but I find it's pandering and then I also find that it's also just getting to be unoriginal at this point yeah, yeah. it a lot of it is the characters were not made to be that person yeah they just made them that and yeah. a lot of remakes are doing that. And I really dislike that because why don't just make them new characters? Well, that's literally what um, I remember. I think I read a, a, just a short little article um, from there was like an interview with Jenna Ortega, who's in the oh yeah, yeah. Just movie, and she said exactly that thing. Yeah, like if like, you make if you make, roles for them, yeah. people will like it a lot more. Yeah. But if you take a role away from someone that people feel like would fit better. You know, yeah. Well, because I think like the example they give in that interview is they said like you know, well when are we gonna have like a female James Bond? And then she's like, no, like James Bond like is just that's who that character is. If we want, you know, to make like a new female character for that make thing, then that's what you should IP. do. That's what I think they should do. It makes yeah. more sense to me. I agree. It seems more appealing than taking something that's already pre-established and changing it. Like, yeah, because then you just put a bad taste in the mouth immediately. Like, you're yeah. already on the back foot right. when you, exactly. you fuck things up like that. And, you know, I'm going to say it. When are, when are the white guys going to have some representation <laughs> yeah, right. in video games? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, like if like if they did a, like let's just say they arbitrarily decided to do a remake of like Alien One, and instead of Ellen Ripley, you get Alan Ripley. It's a yeah. man instead. Like would black people, man. a black man, would people like that? I don't know. No, and maybe yes, I yes and no. It's, yeah, I'd be you know, yes group. and no. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's it's the group. I mean, there's there's people who are like, oh yeah. The same thing, but I mean, because because my my question is too. At the end of the day, is how many people actually really care about like the whole like representation thing? You know what I mean? Like, is it just the vocal minority, or do people actually? Care? Yeah, I think it's a vocal minority, a loud, a loud vocal, vocal minority, minority, right? That's what I think as well. 
But for some reason, a lot of these studios and like producers seem to think that that's the entire audience. Well, it's because too many people are on the internet all the time, where if you say anything, you're going to find those people just popping out of the woodwork to, to bitch and complain Ugh. about everything. Ugh. Yeah. So then, you know... And I mean those people, like uh, like the toads, the totophiles, yeah, the totophobes, the totophobes, <laughs> those people. Yeah. I don't know how those people make make music, but they belong in a swamp. <laughs> I'll, I'm telling you, they belong in a swamp. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, half the people that I see that you know are, are all for that look like Shrek. So <laughs> we have this new girl at work. I don't know her name. Um. But I call her Beach Ball. Oh. Because her head is super round. Uh-huh. Like uh, one of those... You don't know her name. No, I don't know her name. I don't need to know her name. That She's must on be, second shift. That must be fun to have, like, people at your work you don't know. Yeah, the there's name. a ton of them. <laughs> like, pretty much I don't have that one on third shift. I don't, I don't know. That. I don't have that kind of luxury. I mean, there are some people in the company that I don't ever talk to or know, but, like... They're, like, all working remote. I mean, like, people in my office. You know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's... At my work, there's probably a good, like, 200 fuck? people. Why is this not working? Yeah, it's not working. It's weird. Do I just need to hold it longer? Oh, I need oh, yeah. to hold it longer. Okay. But, yeah, there's, like, a good 200 people at, you know, at my shop. So, like, uh, yeah. there's no way I'm going to know all of them. Most of the people right. that I really don't know are people on third or second shift now. Yeah. Because I'm on first shift, and then... Um, oh, shit. The uh, office people, because I don't really deal with them too much, but yeah. I do a little bit here and there. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, so anyway, beach ball. She's got this little fucking piercing in the middle of her big fucking round head. Yeah. And she is so off-putting of a person. <laughs> Yeah, I got one like it just a bit or two. Because, like, she doesn't talk to anyone unless she's spoken to. She's She, she doesn't look friendly at all. She looks like she doesn't want to talk to anyone. And she's just very unpleasant. And then uh, Lisa, one of the girls that I used to work with on Second Ship, she's like, oh, she's so nice. And I'm like... Wouldn't know. I disagree. I wouldn't know. She doesn't seem, <laughs> seem the type. Do you have anybody at your workplace that um, will speak to you, but then they have like like mush mouth or like oh, yeah. um, like they just mumble and you can't understand anything, so you just nod until they go away, and then you're like, I have no idea what that person just said to me. Yes, constantly. We have we have somebody like that in my office, and she's fucking insufferable. <laughs> we we have a lot of Eastern European ladies uh -huh. that are older oh, working. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of them have a tenuous grasp on the English language. Right. And they'll come up to me. Uh, one of the girls, she's like probably this tall. <laughs> really? <laughs> she's Mrs. Daney? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. Is she Mrs. Daney? <laughs> um, and she has one of those beehive haircuts. Oh, yeah. So, you know, she brings me back. But she's like 40-something. Uh, Anyway, she calls me Willie. Well, I. She's like, oh, Willie. Oh, Willie, thank you for coming. Oh, you're such a nice man. And she loves me. She absolutely loves me because she good. hates her boss. And I, I used to, uh, uh, when her boss was not there, I would take over and do her job. Uh -huh. And she's like, oh, my God, I wish you would work with us because I love I love my big Willie. And I'm like, yeah, you love big Willie, don't you? <laughs> You, you know what? You might find this surprising, but this is the first time I've been sexually advanced upon at this place. It's true. There was this one girl called another Eastern European lady. I'm going to blank all these names, but Yeah, that's fine. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I know, but um, just out of the safety of everybody, I'm going to blank all these names. <laughs> she uh, she comes up, and she's like, oh, hello, you know, hi, in her little accent, and then she grabs my butt. Like yeah, maybe yeah, that's come. a European thing. Yeah, she's like, oh, and she would, and then it would go right to my butt. And the thing is, she wouldn't only do it to me. She oh. would do it to like I, anyone that she actually liked. This, so this is shitty. I'm like, we're at the end of the episode, and I'm just starting a boss fight. 
Well, then you're gonna have to. Make All right, I'll do the on. boss. I'll do the boss fight, then we'll call it an episode here. But yeah, so she grabs my butt every once in a while, but uh, she she quits. I don't have to deal with that <gasps> anymore. I don't have to report her yet. To yeah, HR. No. To HR. Not no. to fucking immigration services or whatever. Get she, your head out of the building. She was like a 50 year old. You know, we're probably gonna get canceled for our opinions on the movie shit we were just talking about anyway. Yeah, so, you don't even watch. It. I like you know, and that's the thing. I, I like it's always like if he like even expressing that type of opinion because people go fly off the handle. But I honestly just feel that way. Like uh, you know, I don't know. Just feels. Uh, I don't want to get back into it too heavily, but it's yeah. just like yeah, just like I'm just t- sick tired, and tired. Kind of tired of seeing it. And sick and tired, it. and I don't. I don't care about other people's opinions. Well, and I don't know. That, that's the nature of a lot of that shit. Is people fucking fly off the handle with a lot of it anyway. Like, remember people complaining about uh, a certain character in a comic book being affiliated with a certain thing because he was a not or like a Holocaust yep. survivor. Yeah. It's like it's a comic book character. Shut up. The person's not even fucking real. <laughs> it's like get a life. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just stick to playing my 20 year old games yeah that's the best way yeah listening yeah. to my kid rock <laughs> you know people kid rock can't say his favorite words anymore you guys my uh, my HR department actually came up to me one day and they're like are you racist no no Oh, I get the snake she's snake. another like Dehaney type she's really short oh or should I get the black hole Black oh. Hole Sun. Oh. oh, this is like a fucking like Gatling gun or something. Yeah. Gatling gun or sniper? Sniper? Sniper. Sniper. Oh, yeah, so another Mr. Haney type. And, uh, sniper build. She goes up to me after having talked to one of my coworkers or something. And she looks at me. I'm just kind of standing there. And I say, I say certain things about stuff. And I say it out loud, and I, uh, I'm very frank about what I think and I talk about. Yeah. And she looks at me, and she's like, you don't give a fuck what anyone thinks about you. And I'm like, no. She's like, that's good. Life's too short, man. Yeah, life, <laughs> life's too short. That's good. You you shouldn't, you shouldn't, because yeah. people don't, people really don't matter that much. I'm like, yeah, I know. Most of you people are NPCs anyway. <laughs> she's like, what does that mean? Everyone, non so people of color, you'd be right. <laughs> <laughs> so many people have NPC energy. It's it's absolutely crazy. Yeah, that's what I think. Um, Melissa's coworkers like. I think she's an NPC as well. They just say things because. It's well, like, well, well, her her particular existence is like. I don't uh, like. She lives so plainly. Because she's under the impression that she's eventually going to move back to the province she came from. So, like, living in Sarnia or, like, living in Ontario is, like, a temporary thing for her. Oh, okay. But how, she, how long is this temporarily? I think she's lived in Sarnia for a couple of years now. I don't know. This doesn't seem so temporary. I know. So, like, why why does she put herself through that? I mean, one thing I, I think part of it is she lives in an apartment building that's probably way too expensive. Um, not that it's, like, her fault. I'm not saying, like, she can't afford to live there, but it's just, like, you know, one of those cases where that's where she's living and it's, it ain't cheap, <laughs> you know? And she's particularly not great with money as it is, so then it's, like, you know, one of those things where, uh, I don't know. She But she doesn't, like, she likes to, like, spend money on new stuff, like, instead of just buying, like, you know, oh, like, I want a Keurig machine. It's like, all right, well, if you go to Goodwill, you can probably get one for, like, 20 bucks, but then yeah. it's like, no, she goes out and buys a brand new one. And it's like, buy that hundred dollar one, gotta buy, buy the brand new one. And then, like, similarly, like, though, she just like will, like, she just doesn't have anything in her place or anything, <laughs> like, she doesn't have a TV or anything. It's like, I mean, some people don't need it, and that's fine, yeah. But, like, no, some people know. do live, you know, very, but I just, I mean, knowing how I operate, like, I wouldn't be able to have none of that stuff available to me. No. Like definitely, like all I need is my bed, my computer, my TV. Yeah, pretty much the same thing. And then, all right, I'll this, be able to do this one's going on long enough. Next time on Chinstrap Chaps, we get canceled again. Damn it! Woo! Yeah. yeah.